What's up everybody? Today is November 14th, 2023, and I officially completed my first day of work, orientation day. So I wanted to tell you guys about that. So literally, it was just me sitting there for like the full eight hours, uh, aside from the breaks. You know, they let us get up. Uh, we had a half hour break, just like if we did a normal shift, had a half hour break. And, you know, if we had to go, get up to go to the bathroom or get water, we could do that. But um, it was pretty much just going over information in packets and, um, you know, signing information and um, uh, watching, like, videos and just all that kind of stuff for eight hours, for eight hours. And a cool thing happened. So they have certain clothes uh, that are required. They call it PPE, Personal Protective Equipment. So, you know, certain gloves you got to wear and, you know, I don't know, uh, you know, like uh, ear protection or whatever. And like I told you, you got to wear um, steel toe boots. They actually gave me a free pair of work boots, like a hundred dollar pair of boots for absolutely free. So there was literally a, a large truck, like a semi truck, uh, full with shoes that drove up to the plant. And you walk in there and they got all kinds of different sizes and you know you tell them what size you want and they you know there's a couple guys in there to help you out and they literally gave me it was like 103 dollars um for that pair of boots and so yeah i got a total free pair of boots um like any any questions like say say uh you're watching a video what would you be curious about about my first day at work my girlfriend's in the back so i don't know either I'm trying to think what else to tell you but yeah it was pretty much just us sitting there and you know, you watch a little bit of the video, then they ask you questions about what you just watched. And then, uh, you know, we filled out tax information, um, and then like, you know, uh, direct deposit information if you want to do that. So it was just all that, just your standard, just orientation stuff, just filling out all the paperwork and getting everything done as far as that goes. Um, so yeah, so um, I'm tired, I'm tired. Not because we did anything, just because it was uh, it was just long, you know. Uh, especially sitting there, when you're moving around and doing stuff, the time kind of goes by faster mentally. But when you're sitting there, it kind of drags, and so you you know you get tired or whatever. So, so yeah, it was kind of tiring a little bit. Um, and then the other weird thing is because it's getting darker earlier. So, you know, when I went in at eight o'clock. It's still, it's barely getting light, and then when I come out at four o'clock, it's already getting dark here in eastern Washington, and so I didn't really see a lot of sunshine today, so that kind of sucks too, but that's just a result of the of the season. But yeah, so first day of work, uh, I earned some money. We're on our, we're actually on our way right now to go to Walmart and get some food, you know, so we have dinner or whatever, and that's it, you know. Um, so, uh, I'm going to be working, um, I think, five days straight. And, uh, oh, they said that we get paid um, every Friday. So, it's every week. So, it'll probably skip a week for us, us new employees, because, um, you know, because Friday's only three days away. So, I'm not going to get a, a paycheck the first Friday. I'll have to wait until uh, the following Friday. So I expected that. I expected to wait like a, you know a couple of weeks to get a paycheck. So hopefully I'll get paid um, not this coming Friday, but the Friday after that. And um, you know, so yeah, so um, they want me to come in tomorrow, same time, uh, eight o'clock to four o'clock, same thing. Like I said, for five days in a row. And so yeah, it's good. It's really good that. Um, we're earning money. Like I said, the, the crappy part about this whole thing is that we're still homeless. That's that's literally the crappiest part. Like I said, we have a car, and now I have a job, and I literally completed my first day today, so I literally earn money. I have, you know, I have money coming. But the crappy part is that the money is just gonna go, like, a, a, basically, the most of the money is just gonna go for hotels. And now, matter of fact, because um, people even mentioned, oh, what about, um, Know, homeless shelter and I told you the problems with homeless shelters and with nano not following the rules all that kind of stuff right well forget all that there's not even any homeless shelters anyways in Quincy Washington so that's not even an option anymore there's, no, there's just there is no homeless shelters out here We're, I mean Quincy Washington is like out in the middle of nowhere there's nothing out here 
So that's not even an option anymore. And so it's like, we have to stay in a hotel. It's like, what are we gonna do? You know, I can't have, uh, can't have Nano and Becca or all of us just sleeping in the car. You know, have them sit in the car all day while I'm at work, that's not acceptable. Not to mention, like I told you guys, it's getting really cold and so it would be so freezing cold at night. So we can't sleep in the car, there's no homeless shelters. You know, obviously we don't have any family out here and so the hotel's the only thing. So so that's the crummy part, is, is like things are getting better obviously. I, like I said, I have we have a vehicle now and um, I have a job now, literally earning money, that's, that's good, but we're still homeless. And, still having to spend so much money on, on a dang hotel so that really sucks and um you know we want to find a place but like i said nobody will rent to us because i just i don't have you know i have to wait till i get paychecks in to show you know the renters so it's just we're just in in limbo in the meantime but just spending so much money on hotels and it really really sucks not to mention not just the hotel costs but also you know just the standard um things we have to pay for food and everything else so so that's that still sucks and I'm not complaining I'm just this is just the reality of things so so that sucks so. in that you know uh, if anyone wants to help us you know financially as always there's still there's always a, a PayPal link and a GoFundMe link on my channel page I try not to mention it because I don't like begging for money but again I mean we still are literally homeless I know I'm earning money or um, you know at my job so, you know, I was kind of reluctant to say, but I mean, we still need help. We're still not completely out of this. And so, in, in, like I said before, if you don't want to look at it like giving us money because we're homeless, it also helps support the channel. You know, I, I really try very hard to make sure I do make videos every day, uh, at least talking about something. So yeah, so in, in general, if you just want to support the channel, any donation helps, it always helps. Again, PayPal link and GoFundMe on my channel page. But if not, you know, it's okay. I understand, like I said, I am working and I am uh, earning earning money myself now, so, you know. So anyhow, so that's what's going on. That's what's going on. Um, yeah, so right now it's 8 to 4. Oh, but that's not going to be my consistent schedule. That's just my schedule now Why we're doing, um, I, I keep saying we because there were several people in the orientation today. Um, but once the orientation is over, you know, once I get my uh, real schedule, they have three different shifts. It could be, you know, um, morning, uh, swing shift. Morning shift is, I, I don't know, uh, 8 to 4 or whatever. Or maybe 7 to what, 5 or 7 to 3. I don't know. Whatever whatever the morning shift is. And then um, swing shift is like 3 to 3 to 11 or something like that. That's what I prefer. And then the most dreaded shift, what I absolutely do not want, is graveyard. Graveyard is absolutely horrible. So that that's one of the things they asked asked us today. You know what shift would we prefer? And I said swing shift. It's, you know, I like getting my sleep in the morning. So if I could sleep and get to work about like three or four o'clock, I'd prefer that and just work till like eleven or even twelve. That's not no big deal. But graveyard working like eleven at night to like seven in the morning. It is. I hate it. I hate it. It messes up your sleep schedule. It's just so, so hard to get anything done because you're tired during the day and. It's just, it's horrible. So I really, really hope I don't get graveyard shift. I really, 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 really hope I don't get graveyard shift. Um, so either morning or swing shift I'll deal with. I mean, I have to deal with any of them, but I, you know, I really hope it's not graveyard shift. But anyhow, so my point is that I'm not gonna be doing this eight to four every day. That's just now while we're doing um, orientation. And then once that's done, they take into consideration everything, you know, what, what shifts they have available, obviously what other people requested and all that kind of stuff. And then they're like, okay, they spit you out of shift. This is your days, this is your shift. And then, you know, I'll get a more regular schedule. So anyhow, so that was orientation today. That's first day, first day complete, you know. And honestly, I'm proud of myself. Um, I'm proud of myself. I'm thankful to you guys. Uh, for everyone out there who's helped me and I don't mean just financially everyone out there who's you know supporting me along coming and watching these videos and you know giving me thumbs up or comments or you know all that kind of stuff and honestly I thanks to to my girlfriend Rebecca too and, and to my son Nano you know of uh, trudging through this I mean this uh, you know it's been torture literal torture this whole time I mean I haven't even fully expressed in words of how horrible it's been 
you know, it, you, it, it's almost like you can't even, you know, literally we were, we were, when we didn't have a car, we were dragging stuff around the, the city, you know, dragging duffel bags around, standing outside when it was over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, begging, Thank Nano standing out there begging, and then, you know, um, Becca, she's trying to cook the best meal she can in a hotel, you know, and all that, and so I'm thankful to you guys, I'm thankful to Rebecca, I'm thankful to Nano, you know, and, uh, and, and, and oh and in that and I'm proud of myself for trudging through myself and ended up getting this job and I've completed my first day. So anyhow, so thank you to everybody. Thank you to you, Rebecca. Thank you, Jim. Love you, Becca. Love you, and thank you to thank you, Nano. So so you guys have all been great. Becca's been great and you know, we should have never been through any of this and I do blame myself. You know, there's no one else to blame for myself and I'm and I'm really I'm going to try hard to make it so this never happens again. I mean, we're not even out of it. That's the scary part. We're not even out of homelessness yet. We still don't have a home. You know, my car is still 19 years old. I still worry about the car breaking down every day. You know, it's not like I have an infinite amount of money to get the car fixed, to get all repairs done. So I'm constantly worried about that. Like I said, we, we still don't have a home. You know, we're still staying in hotels. So there's still worries. There's still con concerns. And so... Anyhow, so one step at a time. I did my first day. Tomorrow is, the next, is another day. So anyhow, I'm going to get going. It's getting dark, as you see, so you, can, you guys can barely see me anymore. But um, thank you. Thank you to everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.